Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our traditional uh, monthly art challenge. This month, October, we will be doing this pair of uh, onions. Uh, everything will be as usual, but the only difference uh, in this particular uh, picture, I will not be drawing it, I will transfer it uh, directly, basically I will copy it. I will explain how I do it, why I'm doing this. Uh, sometimes uh, artists facing um, um, a task to recreate your picture over and over again. Uh, so uh, if you know you can draw it like, but to simplify the process, it will be easier just to transfer it. So this pair, this is my picture. I done it, so there is no any copyright issues so say I would like to make this on commission frame it and hang it on the wall so this is the picture I have it printed at Photolab as usual high quality print 8 by 12 inch this will be my final uh, like the size and size of the product uh, when I choose uh, watercolor paper, it will be slightly bigger, about one inch bigger than the source to allow maybe for trimming or maybe just for fitting the mat or frame or whatever. So just to be on the safe side. So this is what we need, how we choose it. Then I gonna be using standard tracing paper that is very cheap one probably a couple of euros so one uh, piece of that and I will show you the process how it's done so I will put this away for the moment okay then I will secure uh, my working surface to piece of glass waterproof with the masking tape as usual just there I securing it to stop it from moving okay I'll make it on that and this sides as well If you wish, sometimes tape will be bigger than the uh, whatever you're using. You can lift it up slightly and you know do it like this. No problem at all. Like that. Done. So we have it prepared for the future work. Next stage is tracing. Uh, well, I can trace it in the block, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's a good idea. So I will place the block right here, like that. I I believe it will not move. We don't need it moving with the HB pencil. I will trace the outer contours of the objects. All I need is just general details for this. Everything else I will recreate on the watercolor paper. We will go through this. You will see my point. Uh, maybe that part as well. I'm using HB pencil, trying not to create any excessive pressure. Like that. That line is important. Broken outer 
skin on those cracks. Try to capture as many details as you can. See this uh, remains of the roots. This only one sticking out, but uh, to create more interesting image, I will add more of these. You know, just like that. Okay. So this is done. We have it transferred. We don't need this for the moment. It will be just source for the painting. And now I need to transfer this onto watercolor paper. How to do it? I will take this out. And what I need to create is uh, imitation of um, uh, carbon paper. For that purpose, I will flip it and apply a layer of shading using some sort of soft pencil 2b 4b 6b just watch that everything is covered like this okay done then we will remove this next thing all we need to do is just uh, like compose it properly uh, you remember how to do it we need to uh, avoid locating our object in the middle uh, in our case because light coming this from this way and we having a shadow spreading this way uh, to allow to shadow to compensate that we will just move it little bit towards the right and slightly up not too much to give some room for the end of the um, these things that sticking out and uh, margin on the top and margin of the bottom should be different it should be the bottom margin should be always bigger so when we have it arranged like this it's a good idea to secure it with the little tabs so that it won't move and using 2b pencil should be a little bit uh, softer than hb we need to trace it and transfer it so i'll start with from the top uh, i will check if it to adjust my pressure level yeah always check how strong it's supposed to be if it leaves any marks at all we big of pressure as you can understand in this particular case all we need is just general uh, shape uh, how relatively big or smaller one onion compared to another I usually make very little details but you can do everything so at this moment I'm happy whatever you can barely see what I've done but there is some um, um, pencil marks and from this point using mechanical pencil uh, also HB uh, 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 I will redraw the picture but this time with the loads of details that uh, 
required. I can use uh, this picture closely so that um, maybe just hold it this way and redraw it the way I need it. All the lines supposed to be crisp and light. The more details, the better. All imperfections. Please notice we don't draw the shadow, not supposed to be drawn. Now, when you have something like this, when the continuous line like this shape of the onion hidden behind some object you have to make sure that it goes like this okay not to um, make a mistake when it goes too high instead of meeting it some uh, beyond that point we can always raise something if we need it now so we can see that Part of the outer skin is uh, broken here. We need to recreate that effect. There is a couple of bits sticking out. And then it goes like this. Like that. Now, I believe this one is done. Now coming back to the other one. Of course, I can allow some deviations from the original picture, but that method is safe in terms of uh, general composition, say distances between the object and you know that those that sort of things. Also, it saves a lots of time. nice to have those little details you know okay at this stage 
as you can see I don't draw anything that relates um, for inner shape say I don't draw these lines uh, these this dent highlights any of these lines basically what I am drawing is the major changes uh, in shape or something that inside like uh, creates a big difference uh, within the object like uh, the edge of the skin this broken stuff here so that's all nothing else so we don't draw uh, cast shadow we don't draw position and the size for the highlights everything we don't draw that we don't draw this but all of those little details will be recreated during the painting process at this moment what we have done you learned how to you know choose your source using the um, uh, tracing paper transfer any kind of image onto watercolor paper uh, the only couple of precautions are just to go through uh, with you when you're transferring use uh, soft pencils hb and higher hb 2b 4b avoid creating too much pressure when you're transferring uh, because if you press your pencil too much you will leave grooves here and that is no good uh, try to keep uh, the surface of the uh, watercolor paper you know intact uh, when you need to use an eraser use putty eraser like this one this this is very very um, gentle um, uh, instrument to use on the watercolor paper when you finish with the all details good idea to give it slight rub with the uh, eraser just to you know light lighten up a bit those lines so that uh, when picture is done there is nothing visible uh there is no pencil lines shining through the uh, watercolor paper so this part is done uh, our next part is painting so we will go through the uh, everything choice of paint all the steps bit by bit we will recreate this picture preferably my idea is to create a realistic image there is nothing else for this one on this particular training video we will be trying to make our picture as close as possible i wouldn't say to the photograph but you know to the real object so when people look at this they say oh my god this are a uh, real thing this is real thing okay thank you very much uh, we will see you in a moment